morning and welcome to the Membly Baptist Teens Discussion. I'm so glad you could join us this morning mm -hmm. as we have another interesting topic to discuss as we all share with each other our thoughts mm -hmm. on the word. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you could join us and I hope that you learn something from this service. Yeah. Um, just before we begin, let me introduce the guys we are here with. Mm -hmm. On my right, I have... Andrew. Pastor Joseph. Lisa. And I am Renee, your host for today. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we come before you this morning. We're grateful and thankful that you've gathered us together once again mm. to hear from your word and to learn more from you. Mm. I pray that each one of us will have um, mm. something that will inspire them from this uh, discussion that we'll have today, O oh God, mm. and that none of us will leave this service the same way we came in. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I will now welcome Andrew to pray for us. Mm. Okay, let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts, saying, God, thank you, God. Mm. Thank you, God, for the gift of life. Thank you for being with us, O oh God. Mm. O oh God, I want to make some requests, O oh God, mm. bring for the youth, O oh God. Mm. O oh God, for the youth in this country, O oh God, are struggling, O oh God, that God mm. may provide a breakthrough for them, O oh God. Yes. And also, God, we pray for this country, O oh God, as we reach a severe time, O oh God, a time that is unknown, O oh God, mm. a time for elections, O oh God, that God, we shall have peaceful elections, O oh God, that we pray that, God, mm -hmm. for the leaders that you have choose for, choose for us, O oh God, mm -hmm. that you have give us the right leaders, O oh God, yes, God, leaders of integrity, mm -hmm. leaders of wisdom, O oh God, mm -hmm. that, God, as a country, we shall grow, O oh God, for the many cases that we have had, that, God, you shall, mm -hmm. able, shall be able to reduce, O oh God. Yes, God. We thank you and we glorify your holy name, mm -hmm. for it is in the mighty name of Jesus we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Andrew. Mm -hmm. We've now come to the interesting time of our discussion. Today, Pastor Jose has a very interesting topic for us. Be attentive, be keen, make sure to learn something from it. Welcome, Pastor Jose. Thank you. Thank you, Rene. Thank you, everyone, guys, Andrew and Lisa here. Uh, and thank you also for joining us uh, from wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in and uh, even just, uh, you know, coming online so that you can be able to catch up with uh, the discussion that we are having. And today we continue with our series, The Seven I Am Statements of Jesus. And today we are doing I Am the True Vine. This is from jo John chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. Lisa is going to read for us. Read for us. Uh, John chapter 15, 1 to 7. Open your Bibles so that we can go there uh, and get to hear from the word of God. John 15 says, mm. I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Mm. He, he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Mm. You, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Mm. Remain in me and I will remain in you. Mm. No branch can bear fruit by itself. Mm -hmm. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Mm. I am the vine, I am the vine, you are the branches. Mm. If a man remains in me and I and I in him, mm. he will bear much fruit. Mm. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Mm. If anyone does not remain in me, mm. he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Mm. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burnt. Mm -hmm. If you remain in me mm. and my words remain in you, Mm. Ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. Wow, 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 wow. That's a beautiful, beautiful passage. And I hope that you've been able to understand um, the passage. But also, uh, as we are discussing, hopefully that you're picking lessons uh, from this passage t for today. But the first place that I would like us to start is, um, what is a vine? When you hear the vine, uh, because the passage in Asama, Jesus said, I am the true vine. What is a vine? Or what you've, have you guys understood about a vine. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? A vine is like Rene? Uh, the stem of certain kind of plants, mm -hmm. but mm. it n normally needs support. To it needs support yes. to grow. So it's a stem of a plant that needs support to grow. And then when it grows, it's able to produce, you know, the fruit or, you know, uh, the, the flowers that it produces. Okay, nice. What else comes to mind, Andrew, when you hear of a vine? Any thoughts that come to your mind? I think for me it's more... More or less the same, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a vine, it's mm -hmm. just like the part of a branch of a tree. Yes, yeah. part of a branch of a tree. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And Lisa, wh what do you think Jesus is saying uh, about him being the true vine from this passage? Or what are you picking, you as a person, from this passage? That he said, I am the true vine, not just the vine, 
but the true vine. It shows that there is a difference. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, he says he's the true vine mm-hmm. because, as he has said, we are the branches. Yeah. And we can't, he was trying to give an example of how mm. we can't do anything without him and we have to be in mm. him mm-hmm. to be successful and to get the things that we need. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just an mm. illustration to show us yeah. how we need him. Wow, how we need him. Very true. Thank you very much. And uh, from what you guys have said is that um, a vine is a plant and a vine is, is, is the plant that produces grapes. Um, I think that is very clear. Um, uh, they, they, they even call it a vineyard to show that it's where the grapes grow and the grapes are taken and they are pressed to produce what? Wine. Wine. Now, the, the Jews understood very well what Jesus was trying to say here, that he's the true vine because them they used to grow vines and they used to you know, take grapes and they will press it to, wi- to, to make wine. Eh? So then they understood wh- what a vine is and uh, you know wine pressing and all those all those things and they also understood the language that Jesus is using but what does it mean for us today when Jesus says that he's the true vine let's explore this the first thing that Jesus meant when he said he's the um, true vine is that he's the true source of life read for us verse 1 and then you skip verse 1, you go to verse 4, and then you do verse 5. Read those f- uh, three verse verses. Verse 1, 4, and 5. Yes, verse 1, 4, and 5. He's the true source of life. Listen to this. Verse 1 says, mm-hmm. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Mm-hmm. Verse Listen, four, he's the true vine, and God is the? Gardener. Gardener. So God, the father, is the one who takes care of the, <laughs> the, vineyard, the vineyard, and Jesus is that vine. Uh-huh. Verse 4 says, mm-hmm. Remain in me and I will remain in you. So Jesus being the true source of life, he says that we must remain in him. Otherwise, if we do not remain in him, we don't have life. Go ahead. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Mm -hmm. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So um, he's showing that if something cannot bear fruit, or if it cannot be productive, it means it is dead. Sindio? Yes. It is. It doesn't have life. So that means it's not been able to reproduce. It's not been able to give, give, you know, to give, um, to bring something out of the same kind. Now, um, there are three things that you need to understand here. Number one, God is the one who created us, and He's the one who takes care of our lives. Now, number two, Jesus is a vine, and in Him, that's where that's where God is able to restore us back to life. And number three. We are the branches and we are the ones who produce fruit. And today we are going to learn about what fruit that God expects us to produce. Now, the second part about what Jesus meant by saying he's the true vine is that he's the true source of productivity. Mm -hmm. Read for us verse 2. Verse 2 says, Mm. he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. So he's the true source of productivity. So if, if you're in him and you do not bear fruit... He cuts you off. So every branch, and we have said we are the branch, like he's the true vine, we are attached to him when we receive him. When we become Christians and when we get born again, we are attached to him. So it's like we are growing out of him. So Jesus is the, is the tree or he's the, he's the vine. So we are, uh, like to, we, are, we are growing out of him. And branches, you can see branches that you know, grow out of a tree. And then those branches, they produce uh, leaves. And then the leaves are the ones that give fruit. Yes. So we are the branches. If you're a believer, you're a Christian, you are the branch. And God expects that you are the one to produce fruit. So Jesus, the true vine, is the true source of productivity. Apart from Jesus, you cannot produce fruit. And we are going to, to try and get to know what this fruit that we are meant to be producing is. I read um, uh, number three, Jesus is the true source of no, he's the true sustainer of life and everything. Read verse 4 and 5 again. Verse 4. Uh-huh. Remain in me and I will remain in you. Yeah. No branch can bear fruit by itself. Mm-hmm. It must remain in the vine. Yeah. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Mm-hmm. Verse 5. Mm-hmm. I am the vine, mm-hmm. you are the branches. Yeah. If any man remains in me and yeah. I in him, mm-hmm. he will bear much fruit. Yeah. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So Jesus... As the true vine, he's a true sustainer. If you come out of the true vine, every branch in Atokanga Kwamti, it's dead. It can't it can survive. Yes. Even a leaf, ikianguka, 
when it it falls down it cannot be able to survive now this i'm trying to say is um there are people who believe that uh you know i can have jesus but still do my own thing mm-hmm. are you getting yes. I, i can still have jesus but still continue doing my own stuff and living my life jesus is just like a small part of my life no that cannot happen if you're truly in jesus you have to remain stuck in in him yes. and so that you continue to be um that branch that bears fruit but what happens Guys, what happens to the branches that do not produce fruit according to this passage? Mm-hmm. They are cut off. They are cut off. Yeah. To cut off in a manisha you chop you you are chopped out. And if you are chopped out, what happens? You have no life. You have no life. Eh, uh-huh. another thing? Uh, they are thrown in the fire and burnt. You are thrown in the fire and burnt. I don't know whether you guys are here in this. This fire you 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 are thrown to be burnt is not the fire we are talking about here ya gas you know <laughs> the fire ya gas ya ya huko nyumbani no we are talking about hell if you in christ and you're not uh, you know bearing fruit he he ha- you have no part in him so he'll cut you off and I, and i don't think jesus will be saying is the true vine he's cutting people off when they're not bearing fruit in him uh, and to be meaning something else He means truly that in him you're meant to be bearing fruit that means you're becoming more and more part of his kingdom but if you're not becoming more and more part of his kingdom you have no part in him sindio so yes. that means you need to be eliminated and the fire that is being talked about here is not uh, just the ile aku uh, you're getting warm no it's the destructive fire the same way the branches that are that are, are not bearing fruit are cut the same way jesus is able to cut the ones that are not producing fruit in him but what happens to the fruits that bear uh, the branches that bear fruit uh, lisa they are pruned so that they can grow more and bear more fruit so they are pruned what is pruning according to this scripture somebody and what does it mean to our lives um, what do you think uh, rene pruning i think okay i'm not very familiar with the yeah, word but yeah. i think it's shaping them for better shaping them for better have you guys seen uh, the guys who do uh, landscaping senior and the guys who trim fences they go or probably guys who have uh, have uh, trees in their homes they call the guys to trim senior yeah. yes why are they trimming the tree or the the the, the, the flowers is so that they can look nice but at the same time so that they can cut off the branches that are already uh, is it old or the ones that are already overgrown and they are not bearing any fruit they are just eating from the plant sindio yes but they are not causing the plant to progress so they are cut so that they can allow the the plant to flourish sindio yes the same way jesus has to prune us now pruning is not an easy process eh? because you have to go you 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 hold the nini the the, the ka branch you you tilt it you you cut the place that is not you know growing well and then you can align it well so that it can be able to bear fruit and grow well and look nice pruning is those those experiences that you go through in life sometimes a hard experience sometimes a good experience but all those jesus is using them to prune you so that at the end of it all you can bear much fruit but they are to janza kuongelelea fruit gani jesus anamaanisha hapa sio and that is the next thing i want us to go and and see but the first thing um before we go there i would like you to understand or us to understand is that the pruning process is not easy, easy. pruning process is like you know uh, jesus is telling you you have to do this thing even when you don't like to do it sio yes sometimes he he will say no to something and you feel like i have to do this thing and at the end of it all he has said don't do it so it is hard right yes sometimes you have to uh, have a lot of patience sometimes you have to go through a lot of uh, stuff suffering including suffering and other trying moments for the sake of jesus christ and his pruning you so that you can be a uh, best for him now um let's go uh, to uh, a cup, um to ask what is this fruit that Jesus is saying that the branches must bear he prunes you so that you can bear much fruit sindio yes. i want you lisa to go down to verse 16 of chapter 15 and then andrew you can prepare galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 read for us it says mm. you did not choose me but i chose you and appointed you 
to go bear fruit mm. fruit that will last mm-hmm. then the father will give you whatever you ask in my name did you listen that we did not choose god or we did not choose christ but he chose us so that we may do what bear fruit bear, bear fruit. fruit and the fruit that we will do what will last so it is not just enough to bear fruit eh the fruit must last up to the end of the ages eh mm. and the fruit Uh, I want you guys to share with me what you think these fruits fruit uh, that um, the word of God is talking about before Andrew uh, reads uh, Galatians Lisa what do you think this fruit is mm, it mm. can mean mm. by bringing other believers mm. to the vine which the vine. is Jesus mm-hmm. like witnessing to other people yeah. and teaching them the word mm. that could be bearing fruit for the vine Wow, that's to bear in fruit, Cindy. Because you're bringing others by sharing the word of God to them, and that is uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. Therefore go out and make disciples of all nations, uh, baptizing them in the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. That is bearing fruit. Another one? Rene? Um it could also mean getting involved in the work of Christ. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh helping yeah. the poor and being giving to charity mm. and also helping in the church serving yes yeah, serving in serving church. and sacrificing yourself for god that is bearing fruit because you're serving god isn't it yes. that means you're growing as you're giving yourself sacrificing yourself like you know uh, romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 says you know therefore offer your bodies as living, living sacrifices. sacrifices your body is to be used to glorify god mm-hmm. now um that is important that's part of the fruit but i want us to go in deeper and see what galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 says about what fruit we should be bearing go galatians 5 22 23 mm. but the spirit produces love joy mm-hmm. peace mm-hmm. patience mm-hmm. kindness goodness mm-hmm. faithfulness mm-hmm. humility and self control mm-hmm. there is no law against such things as this Wow, did you get that? Now, we, we have had the fruit the spirit produces love, love, joy, peace or the the fruit. It's yes. not fruits, the fruit. Now, Lisa read the same verse in in NIV. Le- that is good news, right? Yes. Let let her read you here. It is the fruit, therefore the fruit of the Holy Spirit is this. And and let's let's hear. Because this is what we are meant to be bearing as as believers as the ones who are true branch uh, the branches that are connected to the true vine and the true vine is Jesus go ahead but the fruit of the spirit is so the fruit of the spirit is love mm-hmm. joy mm-hmm. peace mm-hmm. patience mm-hmm. kindness mm-hmm. goodness faithfulness yes. gentleness and self control yeah against such things there is no law good now thank you so much for reading that passage my question is are you bearing this fruit the fruit of love the fruit of patience the fruit fruit of humility gentleness the fruit of um faithfulness the fruit of self control and i would like uh, these guys to pick one one of this fruit of the holy spirit and and share what you think this means i don't know what the quarene then kuje kwa lisa then kuje kwa andrew just share what you think each one of this fruit of the holy spirit what it means and how um we can we can bear that fruit because as as branches we are meant to be bearing fruit yeah. and this fruit should last mm-hmm. so let me explain on mm. patience patience because i find that patience is a very important fruit of the holy spirit mm-hmm. because mm. um sometimes people react to situations yeah. uh, without thinking or without um, yeah. considering mm. the consequences of it when you're patient yeah. when you wait on god mm. and when you when you wait to listen to what he has to say in your situation and when you seek further yeah. um understanding mm. in your situation yeah. then that's when you're able to react in a positive way yeah. so we need to be very patient in every situation that we are going through in life mm. Mm. because yeah. just reacting out of emotion or reacting out of mm. feeling yeah. will not bring back much benefit even even when something is not going my way yes yeah. even when sometimes i feel like no i'm not liking this this process yes we should remain patient that is part of the fruit of the spirit isa thank you rene I'll explain joy. Joy. And uh when he says joy he doesn't mean happiness mm-hmm. because there's a difference between joy and happiness. Yeah. Happiness is like when something you're mm-hmm. given something and you feel happy. Yeah. But then joy, mm-hmm. joy is you feel you're supposed to feel joyful at all times. Yeah. 
even when things are going badly mm. uh then he usually fills you with mm. a joy mm. that mm. even when things are not going your way yeah. you still have joy and mm. then because you have joy mm. keep a positive mm. attitude wow so joy is that uh, you know that assurance deep within you that god gives you that indeed even though things are not going the, r- the way you would like them to go or they are not good for you you still feel joyful, joyful and uh, it's like a kind of satisfaction senior yeah. satisfaction in god and that is very important it's a fruit of the spirit joy does not come from people mm-hmm. uh-huh. thank you lisa for that go ahead uh drew um for me i'm explain on peace peace Mm-hmm. Peace is an important virtue because mm. also as a country we need it. Yeah. So uh, as mm. as as a country, if we have peace, yeah, and you like live in peace with one another yeah. in harmony, mm. you can do things. Uh, yeah. Just uh, not mm. stressing on anything because yeah. you have peace that mm. things will work through, things will do this, yeah. do that, mm. and if you also have peace of heart, yeah you are at peace with God because mm. you see like um mm. you feel things are working out for you and yeah. God will be able to use you mm. and speak to you wow peace peace very important and and even pursuing peace with with other people sindio yes. pursuing peace with God the peace of heart a drew thank you for that and also pursuing peace with other people don't always be the one who is always starting conflicts eh? uh, if the spirit of God is leading you 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 should always be the one pursuing peace with other people. Yes. You're the one kama unaona kuna watu wanaenda vibaya na korofishana uko hapo kujaribu ku to yes. bring them to reconciliation, si ndio? Yeah. Very important. And all these other part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit like gentleness. You know, we school them say mwenye anger and uh, you know unalipuka tu wrath, you're always jumping at people, you're being hard on them. Self control. Are you are you bearing the fruit of self control in your life? You know the things that you're facing. Same kama ni you know these things, temptations, uh, uh, addictions, vitu zote zenye young people are going through in this generation. Are you exercising self control, which is a the, a fruit of the Holy Spirit? It does not come from from just wewe kufanya. It's the Spirit who bears that fruit in you. And I pray that God is going to help you. Um, uh, by doing these three uh, uh, four things the first thing is jesus has said that remain in me and my words remain in you and then you shall ask whatever you need or what you desire and i shall give it to you so the first thing for you to bear fruit and to re- to to you know to re- uh, to be uh, in christ the true vine is number one. you have to choose make a deliberate decision to remain in him to remain in amanisha being unmovable Yeah. being immovable no matter what is happening around you you believe in Christ you are saved you remain there number two, you can only remain in Christ by remaining in his word so study God's word and the reason why I'm telling you study God's word don't wait only for Sunday when Pasi will be preaching only Sunday when uh, we are going to see you our Christian Union mm-hmm. uh, that's what the only time you interact with God's word read god's word study god's word every day hata kama ni verse moja or two verses or five verses a day let god speak to you number three is prayer commit at least to pray even if it's five minutes lunch time morning evening pray at least even if it's for five minutes commune with god talk with god converse with him tell him about your fears tell him about the things that you are excited about ask him what his desires are And lastly, the only way to remain in the vine is by fellowshipping with others. Taking opportunities to produce the fruit of the Holy Spirit in the lives of other people. By the way, munajua all these things zenye tumeongelelea, the nine part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you cannot do them to yourself. Love. Yeah, of course you love yourself, but you have to show it by loving other other, other people. people. Joy of course is within you. Faithfulness it, it has to be with other people senior. Yes. Gentleness of course. As you show gentleness to other people. Mm. Self control also involves you and other people. Mm. So fellowship will also matter a lot. And I pray God is going to impact you even as you remain in him. He is the true vine. Amen. 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 Thank you Lord for your word. I pray that it will impact somebody and that um the young people Lord who have listened to this word that Lord Um, they are going to choose to remain you who is the true vine the true sustainer of life the true source of life oh god you're the true um uh, vine and i pray that we will remain in you 
and not be moved by things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 What a wonderful discussion. Yeah. How to remain um, in the vi- with the vine of Jesus as the branches and to bear fruit. Yeah. Um, in your life, you should also reflect and uh, check yourself many times and say, am I bearing fruit yeah. for the vine that mm. is Jesus? Mm. Thank you very much, Pastor Jose. You're welcome. We have now come to a time of giving. Mm-hmm. The Bible says that it's blessed to give than to receive. Mm-hmm. And I pr- uh, pray that... Um, as the numbers roll down on your screen, you have something to give. Mm. Feel free to give through the number and I'll ask Lisa to pray for the offering. Yes. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this opportunity to be able to give back to your work. Mm. We pray that everybody who is here in d- watching this service will be able to feel mm. the urge to give mm. and they'll be able to give uh, not feeling like it's a punishment or yes. or they have to do it, but because they want to do it yes, and you'll continue to bless them with more. Mm that they may be able to have enough yes. and they may also be able to continue to give to your work. In mm-hmm. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So we've come to an end of this discussion. Mm-hmm. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it yeah. and that you're going to go home and um, f- have a difference um, from the from what you've learned from this service. Yeah. And now I'll come Pastor Joseph to close for us. Yes. Welcome Pastor Joseph. Thank you so much guys for coming. Drew, thank you so much. Thank you Rene for leading us so well. Thank you Lisa for even uh, participating and joining us. God bless you guys for uh, joining today. I pray that you'll continue um, uh, tuning in uh, even as we close today. And also invite other guys to also you know uh, share with them. Share with them the word. This is probably the only way that you can be able to invite somebody to know Jesus, by sharing this with them. And now stretch your hands to receive the blessings of God from Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 and to 26. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine on you Amen. and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord turn his face toward you Amen. and give you peace. Amen. And now may the grace of our, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love, love of God, God and, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be us now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. Say bye. Bye. bye.